Hi everybody, this is Diane. It is time for our weekly collage. So I have my book here and we are well over more than halfway there with filling this book in. So there we are. Week 37, we're um, starting the last of three signatures. So we're two thirds done. Um, so today's prompts are anything that starts with S. Now you'd think that would be easy, but I looked through my collage pieces and wasn't coming up with anything that started with S till I saw her with that smile. And then I found <coughs> this word. So that will show what what I mean. <laughs> like where's the S here? Oh, it's her smile. So I have those two pieces. Um, text in a language that is not your native tongue, which means Oh, I got the wrong thing. I thought it was a text that's not the text that, you know, the alphabet that we use. But it's any foreign language. But this is a foreign language, so I'll use that. A car. I will... I have this book that I can pull pictures from if I want to, and this book, which I can cut something off the cover or I can actually use one of the stamps or one of the images from the book. I don't know yet. <coughs> I think I had a small piece too, like a small image of a car, but I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Oh, I think this came out of this book. It did. It's that stamp. Then we have a translucent paper such as tracing paper or vellum or tissue paper. So I got into my um, tissue papers and pulled some. I kept pulling black and white I think because the car thing. Uh, uh, I don't know why but then I pulled a colorful one too so I don't know what we'll use. Um, something with fins. Well that could have been one of the cars right? But I pulled out these little pieces images of some fish. So I could use a car or a fish. And the bonus is a receipt. I have two vintage receipts right here. So let's figure out what we want to use. Um, I think we'll start by choosing the car and the fins pieces. I think because the text and the receipts and oh I have her too I want to make sure she'll probably be the focal point point. Um, and the tissue paper is mostly black and white so I think I don't want to use this book I'm looking for a picture of a car with fins don't really I don't see one that I that the fins jump out at me so I'm gonna go with the fish I don't know which fish like I don't know what size I want so first I'm going to cut this image out And I think I'll just maybe use this whole quote if it fits in the collage. I was thinking of just cutting out the word smile, but maybe we'll just use the whole quote. What makes me smile? I'm not a car person. I'm not a fish person. So cars and fish don't make me smile. My car makes me smile because I'm so grateful that I have a nice car that gets me where I need to go kind of funny that uh, this week I had to buy a new battery because I went to had an errand to run and my car wouldn't start. My, my son-in-law came. I like the colors of this fish with those colors. 
and he took it to get the battery. He took the battery out and got it tested, and I had to buy a new battery. But now it starts. So we have lots of blues going on with all of that, if those are the pieces I use. a piece of this tissue paper. five elements here. This might muddy the waters, so I think we'll just go with those. I don't need the bonus. I just have to figure out an arrangement. What do you think? Do I need to... I don't think I want to mess with it and try something else. I think I like it the way it is. I just happen to have this scrap that matches that blue, so let's put a mat around that. put it away. Alright, so we'll start by gluing this down. And actually, I think I will start by putting some, a little bit of blue on the background here. I'm going to look for a background stamp. This one. I don't know if this has enough ink on it. Yes, it does. I know I don't have to cover the whole thing, but 
This is a big stamp, so it's going to cover the whole thing. So now I'm really crafting. That's how I know I'm really crafting. I will glue this page of Japanese text. She'll be next. And then the tissue paper. going to use one of my wet glues because this is cardstock. I don't I don't want to put um, glue stick on it and then have it pop off the page. Just looking, do I want everything down on this half of the page? I don't want it up here. I think I do want everything on this side of the page. And the sticker that came out of that book was a blue car. So we have a blue theme going on here. That was a pretty quick one. Pick all these pieces up so that they're not in my way because I'm going to bring my scripture journal over after I stamp my date on here. tidied up. And today 
is the 18th. I like the blue speckled background on it too. I think that helps. It's not too much. There's a lot of white space, so it's not too much blue, I don't think. My opinion. Whoop. Take that part off. That's okay. Forgot to take the washi tape off, but there were little stars on that and they must have pressed through the washi tape. So that's okay. So there we go. That's today's collage. Um, we did something that starts with an S, stamped over that S with those stars. Text, not my native tongue, a car, translucent paper, and something with fins. So what do you think of this simple collage? There's even a little blue speck on this tissue paper. It looks like a mole on her face, a beauty mark. So I got my uh, scripture journal out. Last time I just did a couple of pages. I think I did these two pages because that was already done. But then it, I took a lot of time to go back and, and write verses in because um, I had a lot of pages done that I hadn't written in yet. So I decided to get my verses from this. They're from the Bible, of course, but what verses? The, the Bible has lots of verses. So I decided to pull from this book, which I've had for a while, 31 Verses to Write on Your Heart by Liz Curtis Higgs. That's where I left off. So I just started um, taking the verse that she would start with, and then I took wrote some of her notes on my pages. And I, like, uh, we're on 13. So I did 12 verses um, since the last time I saw you. I'm not going to go over all of those <clears throat> with you. That would just take too long. So I'll just pick a couple. You guys tell me that you like it when I read the scripture that I write down and talk about it a little bit out a little longer. So let's just start here. Um, so the verse is Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. <clears throat> and I wrote, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you can protect your mind and guard your thoughts. Each time we love and trust instead of fret and fuss, God changes our stop and go into flow. Obviously, I got that from her book. I th think that came from... Maybe I wrote that before. Anyway, let's see what the first verse is, because I started with the very first verse. Proverbs 3.3. 3. So it wasn't that. far back did I go? Anyway, um, I, I wanted to read this one because I wrote down the Greek words that were translated into the words for this verse. Um, 2 Timothy 1.7, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. I don't know what translation she uses. I just wrote that from her book. But um, King James or the New King James says, um, For God does not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. So it says timid here. Um, in King James it's translated fear, but the word in Greek is delia, 
and it means terror or dread. God does not give us a spirit of terror or dread. Something we need to remember in these times with the COVID um, pandemic and all the political things going on. We can be filled with terror and dread for the future, but God doesn't put that spirit in us. It doesn't come from him. What he gives us is a spirit of duramis, which is miraculous power, might, strength. You might um, guess that from duramis, because it, it's probably where we get the word durable. So he gives us the power, the, the spirit of power, and agape is a love centered in moral preference. It's the love that God loves us with. And self-discipline, which is the word sophronismos, wise direction. We also need this all the time, but especially in this time period. We need to be sensible and well-balanced with a sound mind and good judgment. These are the spirits that, that God puts in us, not the spirit of fear. And Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Um, we know bad things happen, hard things happen, difficult things happen, but we can be confident that every detail in our lives is in his hands. But he's not just holding them, he's doing something about them. He is working towards something good and beautiful, directed toward those who love him. That's what this verse is. Uh, for those who love him and have been called to be saints in keeping with his purposes. Uh, Psalm 46.10 says, he, he says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the, word, in the earth. <clears throat> this is gentle but firm reproof. When he says, be still, he's saying, calm down, that's enough, stop fighting. And it doesn't mean fighting among people. It means fighting within your spirit. <clears throat> Recognize, know the truth about God. <clears throat> Elfim means Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we need to understand and recognize and know the truth about the triune God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All nations on earth will honor him. And then I wrote over here, no one is like our God. And the last one that I wrote is Zephaniah 317. I know that I wrote this up here near the front because it was one of the verses that I used very much to get me through the period after my husband passed away. And I still love this verse. Zephaniah 317, The Lord your God in your midst, the Mighty One, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. And I said uh, in a, another video when I was talking about the verse that I wrote previously, the same verse, that he will quiet you with his love is what just kind of hit me between the eyes when I read it back then. <clears throat> because it just instantly calmed me. Um, I, it wasn't like I was raging or crying out loud or things like that, but inside it was all just chaos and um, turmoil and questioning and grief, deep, deep grief but knowing that he will quiet me with his love calmed me down, reminding me that God is right here with me. The Lord your God in your midst, he is right here. The Mighty One will save. He is fighting my battles and he is winning. Uh, he will rejoice over you with gladness. He loves to love me. Uh, another way to translate he will quiet you with his love is um, I don't know the Greek or the Hebrew words that were used. The Old Testament is primarily Hebrew and the New Testament is Greek. But um, like he knows 
all of my faults, but he is not going to um, browbeat me with them. He's keeping them to himself. He will keep my faults to himself rather than naming them one by one. And he sings over me. Isn't that amazing that God sings over us? I want to hear God singing. So I thought maybe I would do a couple more pages while you're here with me. I already glued this down and I don't know if I'll do anything else. I just loved this piece from a children's book and I didn't want it to get damaged. So I had flipped through and found a page to put it on. So there it is. So let's just see if there's anything else I might want to add to that page. And I won't add much to this either. That's just a postcard with a pretty chair on it. And I might just leave that the way it is. I could maybe put a ticket on it. put a ticket up here. There are birds over here. I could add some birds there. I could put this little order form. Order now for Christmas. I was going to see if I could find something with those colors. This one probably came out of the same book, but I don't think I want to use that. You can see, see that these were used around the edges. It was a song book. Maybe I'll put one of these over on this side because you'll be able to see it. I'd like to have one that's on this side and then over, but I don't think I do. This one I could put on this side, the little girl on a swing. rooster and this oh that's sweet that'll go on a different page that one is nice with more birds stick with her. Okay, so I'm going to leave these as they are except adding one little piece to each one. Um, I might put a little piece of a doily underneath that. I know we have some collage uh, doily pieces in that collage folder. put the glue stick on without tearing the doily. Oops. There we go. I did tear the doily a piece of it stuck to my finger. So on this page, I could write the verse out on this little coupon and then write about the verse on that page.
cap. There's another rooster. These pictures are so sweet. I just don't want them competing with each other, I guess. Now that's cute. It's a little... I think this is from a Raggedy Ann book? Nope, it's from a children's songbook, but there's a spider in that house and a grasshopper in that house. they're saying hello to each other. That's what that sticker says. Hello. Got a piece of vellum here I'm trying to pick up. Tim Holtz vellum. Just something small, like that, so I have room to write. Fuzzy and I can play here. I'm just going to use the word hello. Okay, I think that's enough. Hello. All right. A couple of simple pages, but leaving me more room for writing. Let's try one of these ladies. This is from a vintage magazine from the 30s it looks like.
supposed to go to a nice restaurant in our valley um, to meet some girls, girls my age, <laughs> who graduated from high school with me. We have met periodically we do this. I don't usually see them unless we plan something like this. So that's what I'm supposed to do this evening. And I'm looking forward to seeing them. it is. Put that little stamped piece there that I can write on. Since there's text on this page, I'll need to add writing spots. I could write on that with a white gel pen. Just start gluing down. It makes it easy to work in this book because I set aside the kinds of images that I want to use in this book into that one folder, that one envelope, and so I don't have all my whole ton of supplies to look through when I'm doing pages in this book. I'm limited and I like that. I think I'm just going to add her down here just for a little bit of color. This is a printable I have of some vintage dairy coupons. I believe that printable is in my tickets and tags digital kit. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Whoops. But those that's a printable. That's not real tickets. Real coupons. I thought if I used this piece of vellum it would mute the text and maybe I could write on that if I need to.
I'll try to write the verses and things in this book before I do any more pages. I don't want to get so far behind. It took me a long time. It was a long session of writing all those verses and the notes. I don't even think I'm halfway done with this journal yet. put this down first. going to call that good for this video. So I'll just show you again the collages that we did in this video. We have this one. I will have room to write some verses and some notes on those scripture verses on that page. And that one, which was almost all done. I just added that. Let's see where we are in this book. This right here takes us to the center of the book. So I have a few more pages to do before I reach the center. And then all of these pages to play with. This is going to be a great book to look back on when I'm done with it. It's getting heavier and thickening up. I'm using a lot of images from children's books, in particular these orange and blue ones. I love them from that songbook, but also other. And then just some kind of quirky things. Just things that when I see them, I think I would like to use that in my scripture book. So I put them in that packet. And then we did this page, which I'm pretty happy with the way that page turned out. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed this collage session and maybe you were collaging along with me or fussy cutting or doing something crafty while I was gluing. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video and have a creative day today. Bye-bye.